Hi guys, welcome to Mudbox 2009 lesson number one from Flash Building. And this is the first thing that every Mudboxer or a graphic designer should know about. And a lot of you guys already know about it if you're heavy into digital arts, uh, but some of you might not yet. So I'm going to showcase it. And what I'll be discussing is a stylus pen, that's this little guy here, and a graphics tablet, that's this thing here. And I use the uh, the Wacom graphics tablet. It comes with a uh, nice little mouse, mouse input, and it comes with the stylus pen. The stylus pen comes with extra little white tips that you can replace that one with. And the pen has uh, it simulates the mouse with this little uh, button here. And it's not clickable in the center, but both edges of the mouse are clickable. And you can see that it controls my, my mouse on my computer. Just like a... or it controls my pointer, sorry. Just like a mouse would. But it gives you certain advantages that a mouse can't. And I'll show you how in Mudbox in just a second. Um, I'm also going to show the advantages of uh, using a stylus pen and tablet in Illustrator, Photoshop, and Fireworks, and things like that. But for this uh, video, we're just going to focus on Mudbox, and then in the next video, I'll uh, I'll demonstrate the interface and talk to you about the interface of Mudbox 2009. And I'm also here in Mudbox One. If you happen to have Mudbox uh, Mudbox 1.0 from Sky Matter, I bought it a long time ago when Sky Matter first came out with it uh, years ago, and I love it. It's just a great little tool because I uh, I sculpt with uh, Super Sculpey. I don't know if you guys know what what Super Sculpey is, but it's a great little uh, polymer clay that allows you to sculpt little characters and then bake them in your oven, and then you can paint them and stuff. So this mud box is a Super Sculpey. Uh, somebody who who likes Super Sculpey, you're gonna love mud box because it's just like having a lump of clay, and uh, all of the tools, especially in uh, 2009 there seems to be I like the tools better in 2009 I like the interface better and has more uh, more presets stencils stamps and all of this other stuff but Mudbox 1.0 and Mudbox 2009 the way you use the stylus pen and the objects that you can create it's pretty much the same thing so if you have uh, Mudbox 1 or Mudbox 2009 uh, you can follow along with some of my lessons. But I'll be working in Mudbox 2009 uh, primarily and uh, so you might not have all of the tools that I'll be using and um, I'll always be using the stylus pen and tablet for the for the Mudbox tutorials. So if you don't have this stylus pen and tablet and you, you can't get one and you can do everything that that I would do but I would do it a lot quicker because there's certain uh, you know little tiny pressure sensitive things that I'll be able to do really quickly that you would have to go over here in the sliders and gauge things really uh, fine-tune things to get it uh, to to the same effect that I've got it so uh, that's that's good to note okay so we talked about the pen and we talked about the tablet. Uh, let's see what else. The tablet. Um, let's see if if you're on a slider. Say you're on a slider, and you have the Wacom tablet or a similar tablet. Let's say I have I have that slider and I'm sliding it back and forth with my pen, but I want a little more precision on it. There's a little slider here. You see this thing right here, right there. This little track. If you highlight one of these markers and you're sliding it you can see that look at this and look at the precision it allows I'm just stroking it back <laughs> I'm stroking it uh, but I'm stroking it length uh, vertically and you can see it just tracks the decimal points uh, slides them ever so minutely and it's really nice for precision so that's another advantage of having the the tablet so not only do you have a pressure sensitive pen but you also have a nice uh, precision slider and then you have buttons here that simulate the mouse buttons but this thing simulates the mouse buttons as well and so let's go ahead and show you 
what the deal is with this and why it's so important in Mudbox or any graphics program for that matter so you go up to create mesh let's bring out a spear spear and then let's let's do the same thing in Mudbox 1 in case you guys are working in Mudbox 1 um, create mesh and you'll notice that there's not as many uh, mesh presets in Mudbox 1 there's only three um, let's go ahead and uh, subdivide it now and I'll be going through the, the basics in other later tutorials but I have to show you the tablet in this first tutorial let's see if we want to go to mesh subdivide selection let's do it again let's just do it three times so it has uh, a really fine detail so let's go to this one and do the same thing mesh add subdivision add subdivision add subdivision okay so now it's got really fine uh, detail to the model to this uh, object here there's more polygons there's a bigger co polygon count in it now alright so when you have the pen you can press alt on your keyboard and click down and you can see how moving the pen will let you uh, view any angle of your scene there you can you can also click the little buttons here on the pen and they will let you pan or not pan but zoom in and out so what I'm doing is I'm holding alt on my keyboard and then I'm holding this pen uh, this the uh, the front click button on the pen I hold that down and you can see if I don't touch the tablet if I'm holding actually I don't even have to hold alt well yes I do hold alt and you, it'll let you uh, drag the scene around but then if you press down on the tablet you see that it lets you zoom in and out and I'm still holding with my my index finger on that button and that's how it's allowing me to do that and now if I pick my pen tip up off of the tablet watch what happens I'm not zooming anymore now when I go up and down it doesn't do anything it just drags the scene around so that's what's cool about that and if I click the other button oops, the other button will let me zoom in and out if I have it held down without touching the tablet and then when I touch the tablet you can see it it cancels it out so there's a lot of whole different ways you can control this thing and let's see uh, so if you hold alt and you that'll let you uh, view all around your scene and what other views are there that's about it you can zoom in and out all around it and the alt key makes that possible now let's uh, show you why it's so important to have the this is the real uh, kicker about why it's important to have the stylus pen what I'm about to show you right now okay so let's go back to center now the uh, go down to your tools and you hit sculpt here in 2009 and Let's go ahead and draw onto the sphere. Okay. So you see the lines I drew using the pen. Now I'm going to draw a little, I'm going to push a little harder with my pen this time. You see how much thicker that is? So I'm going to draw nice and soft this time with the pen. Ready? Watch. Nice and soft. Nice and soft see how light and thin that line is it's beautiful now I'm gonna grab my mouse do the same try and do the same thing nope it's just a big bulky thick old line no precision no detail 
and there's no way I can match those little lines it's not even possible I would have to go over here mess with my size and my strength a whole bunch and so you can see how much more time that would take it's a pain in the butt but you have the pen and you get onto that sphere and it's just uh, my god the, the difference is amazing I can't even you have to do it yourself to uh, to even understand but I guess you know the visual here helps so if and mud box one same thing let's draw on it with the pen now let's push hard with the pen see that it's a nice thick line let's push soft with the pen nice thin detailed line now let's get the mouse let's draw with the mouse on it oh man it's such a big bulky bit so you can see the same setting set on this uh and in Mudbox 1 it's called Soft Soft B and Soft A and then uh, in Mudbox 2009 it's called Sculpt but it's the same thing and I'll show you how to use all these tools in future tutorials but that's what I wanted to, to demonstrate was the power of the stylus you must have the stylus if you don't have the stylus with a pressure sensitive tip I'm gonna be working 10 times 20 times maybe even 50 times faster than you uh, and if you you want to follow along with my tutorials I'm gonna be working just understand I'm gonna be working that much faster than you because like I said you'll you'll be having to come over here to the sliders and manipulate things uh, as I'm just zooming along with my pen so that's lesson number one and we'll see you in lesson number two and like I said I'm gonna demonstrate the advantages of having this pen and tablet in fireworks Photoshop and Illustrator for you guys too so peace out